Right now, tire limited classes are the hottest thing going in drag racing. Records have fallen all season, and I'm here with a man who's responsible for a lot of that success, Shannon Davis. Now, you've got a lot of really interesting hardware back here behind us. What are we taking a look at here today? Well, we've got a lot of different products. We've got our bump boxes been out for a while. The turbo guys really like that. Um, let you bump in the beams, very popular. We've got a little device called a Pro Axe. It's a simple little delay box. And then we've got our traction control that we've had for years, a self-learning traction control. It monitors wheel spin um, by looking at the rate of acceleration of the drive shaft. And it learns, it updates that rate every revolution. And then it measures every eighth of a turn. So if it sees a sudden spike in one eighth of a turn of the drive shaft, it knows it just slipped the tire. Then of course we've got the new profiler. The profiler is a system, a wheel speed management system. You plot out a wheel speed that you want, not a new idea, but a, a new take on it. We're monitoring it a thousand times a second. We're accurate to one RPM, and we can react every cylinder, no problem. The accuracy is incredible. I mean, everybody involved is like, I can't believe how fast this thing is and how accurate it is. There's no need for a, leave a 50 RPM or 100 RPM buffer. It's changed the tuner's job from let me go and, and change the engine tune up to try to get to a wheel speed that I think is what I want to let me plot what I want for a wheel speed, let me rough in the tune up, and the profiler is gonna add and remove timing to get you to that wheel speed. Now it can get, do a lot more than just control timing though, right? Yeah, we also have, with, for the power management system, we also have uh, what we call Smart Drop. Smart Drop is a uh, user tunable rev limiter. You can limit it to one of eight cylinders, or two of eight, or three of eight, or four of eight, and it will never drop the same cylinder twice. So we took that, we also incorporated that same technology to our rev limiter um, for your two-step and you know that sort of thing. And it's super smooth. We've actually had a couple of Pro Mod blown, screw blown guys. First time they ran it, they didn't know they were on the limiter. They said they about pedaled it because they didn't know they were on the limiter. Glance at the dash, they're you know, 3,800, I guess I'm on the limiter. Now what about turbo or nitrous guys? The turbo and nitrous guys, you know, we've got the, the bump boxes built into the profiler, the pro axis built into the profiler. Along with those two, we have four um, 30 amp high output drivers that can be pulsed or ramped. Then we have four low amp drivers that can be used to trigger things like shift lights or a low amp draw thing. Or you can incorporate it to a relay, which we just came out with a new uh, four channel solid state relay that's got four 50 amp relays built into one little bump box housing. So you can tie that with the profiler on the low amp side, and you've got four 50 amp outputs, four 30 amp outputs that can be pulsed and ramped, and you can basically do a nicer controller with it. Um, where it's gonna be popular is with the converter controls, I think. So you're basically taking an integrated all this functionality into a single box. So what else would anybody need to really get this set up and running? Well, we're not doing all the ignition controls that guys may be using. We don't do individual cylinder control. We don't do, um, currently don't have anything for like stepper charge for nitrous. So they'll probably leave in place a lot of what they have. But some of the guys, like a lot of the blown pro mod guys I work with, they don't need an extra box to control their fuel. They don't need an extra box for their two-step. They don't need an extra box for their shifter. They don't need an extra box for their traction control, their bump box and their pro axe. It's all in one 11 ounce box. And uh, the guys are loving that, that it simplifies the wiring, it's 11 ounces. We have a, a program in place where they can buy a spare box very affordably. Um, and uh, if their primary box goes bad, they move their SD card that contains their license to the new box and they're back up and running. So the profiler didn't come out too long ago, but you've already got a bunch of world records, right? Well, the profiler wasn't supposed to be out yet, but we were playing with it. And uh, Brad Edwards is my alarm system guy at our shop. And he wanted me to come over and check out his bump box, make sure it was right. And I said, well, look, why don't we just put a profiler in there and bump box is built in. So he goes down to Georgia, does real well with it. Then he goes to Holly Springs, does real well with it. Then he goes to Huntsville and kind of set everybody on their ear with a, you know, a stock suspension, not particularly light, drag radial car on 315s, went 399 there. I think more impressive is the consistency that he's done it with, you know, run after run, just whittling away a little faster, a little faster. And then what a lot of people don't know, they went back testing at Huntsville a few weeks ago. They came off the truck, the first pass was a 99, then a 97, 97, then a 95 and a 94. And he said he's most impressed with the fact that he's made 35 consecutive passes, and I think four of those he's pedaled it. Um, two of which he said were out of the groove and spinning and he knew it was just not gonna be a good pass and two of them are doing wheelies. Well, consistency and performance, that's what Davis Technologies is all about.